<laughs> Hello everyone! Nat and Nat here from the Traveling Foxes! <laughs> Welcome to another travel vlog. This time we are going to be talking about how to pack because tomorrow we are going to the highest peak in the Philippines! Where, where, where? Mount Apo! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. So it's our first time. <laughs> well, for all of my friends who are going there, I've also done Mount Pulag before and other peaks around the world. She's so, done a lot of um, hiking here in the Philippines. Philippines and overseas. <laughs> so in this vlog, I want to share, well, we want to share with you what to bring for a long hike. Yeah, it's not an ordinary hike since we're gonna be walking for two days, right? Yes, and then it's we're a two gonna day hike. be camping there. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's important to be prepared. Are you ready to share what we're gonna be packing for this trip? Um, when we are in Mount Apo, we actually do have porters. So just uh, for the scope of this video, we will include an extra bag which you can leave with the porters. So if you are planning to not get a porter and carry everything by yourself, um, you can also watch this video because all the necessities will be included in this vlog. Next question for you. How is the temperature there in Mount Apple? I checked and I've also asked our tour guide. The temperature around April, it goes from 24 degrees and going to the peak could go up to six degrees at night. We have to always learn to keep warm, especially when we're in the mountains, to avoid hypothermia and just, you know, feeling sick while at the mountain. Aside from cold, it can also be rainy. Right? Exactly. I'm gonna categorize the stuff into three bags. Three bags, you're like wondering, wow, that's a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's a lot. It's not really a lot because the first bag is the bag that you are going to have with you with clothes and toiletries that you will leave in the van. Or when we're, when we're in Davao, because what we're going to do is we're going to stay one night in Davao before we start the trip. So the first bag we're going to start out with is the bag you are going to carry yourself. So this is the necessities because you have to remember that the porter is not going to be beside you the whole way. Um, the porter can either be way behind or way in front of you. And if you need something like water or a snack, then the porter can't just remove his bag and give it to you. It's not a concierge or some <laughs> like high-end service. It's literally people who are helping you to carry your bags. So you still need to do the work. You still need to do the work. <laughs> the stuff the porter is gonna carry is mostly for the camp and for day two. Mm -hmm. And the things you're gonna carry with you are the things Essentials. you need for the hike. So let's start. Ooh. All right. So how how big? Tell me about how big or how how many liters? How many liters is this backpack? Okay, so my bag is 55 liters. Um, this is normally enough for an overnight trip and you could carry everything. So I would tell you that for me, this is actually quite big for the trip. But I gave Natasha my 35 liter bag, which is an ideal size. Um, if you I'm already... smaller than her, so maybe that is more ideal for me. <laughs> you know, like every other hiking bag, it's important to have like good cushioning. You have the hip strap. Um, and yeah, as I said earlier, 35 liters and 55 liters if you want to carry yes, everything so yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you're climbing a mountain, it's all, there's always a chance for rain. So make sure you have an extra rain cover or a plastic bag. I have here, I bought from Decathlon a plastic bag just to cover nice the bag. Mm -hmm. And you normally and can- if you don't it, use it, you can just- Yeah, put, put it at the top pocket. So now you have your bag. I'm gonna talk about the clothing. Um, that you will be putting in the bag that's important for the hike. What do you think is the most important clothing when going on a hike? Okay, for me, I would always think it's the raincoat because if you don't want to carry anything else, you want to keep dry. So I would say a raincoat, make sure it's waterproof. There's a lot of um, other... It's nice and light as well. It's light. Any raincoat will do, guys. Any raincoat. And this one is also put it in a place where it's accessible. So I would also put it at the top pocket mm -hmm. so I can easily grab it when I'm on the hike. Let's see That's if I can pack it. Okay. <laughs> pack it properly. <laughs> Since the temperatures range from around like 24 all the way to 3 degrees, it's always important to keep warm. So I don't suggest wearing short shorts and sleeveless because it could be windy. And also, um, even if there's sun, it's going to be colder because you're actually moving up higher. So you could recommend to people also to bring their own sunscreen. Sunscreen? Yeah. Be... Um, that's that's yeah. what I will cover in the, um, ah, the toiletries. Sun. Toiletries. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's something you just want in your bag. But for outfits, I would always suggest um, long pants for hikes like this. Um, 
not only for the sun also to avoid getting scratches and also mosquitoes um, and yeah just the general changes yeah. in the climate. I got these really thick uh, <laughs> so I got these really thick pants from North Face. It's for negative 15 degrees. It's quite as I mentioned it's quite thick. Um, it'll keep me really warm but I'm not even sure if we need this but I'm gonna wear this. I'm not gonna layer it up. Yeah. This might be more for the hike to the summit right? to the summit early in the morning because we are leaving at 2 a.m. And when we reach the campsite, we are starting the hike again to the summit at around the same time, 2 a.m. the next day. Right. Um, so this is what I would wear. For day one, I'm going to be wearing either a um, quick dry t-shirt under and I'll have a thin raincoat, no, it's not a raincoat, a thin sweater. It's more like a, oh, a, a raincoat, coat. like a, a thin sweater, or like weatherproof. Jacket. Weatherproof. It's yeah. yeah. It's quick dry, so it's sweat. It's um, windproof. Mm, nice one. Yeah. It's also very light, so I can keep it in my bag if I'm feeling too warm. I have prepared even my um, like yoga pants. Because yoga pants are quick dry, they're long, they're gonna protect my legs from sharp rocks. And if you've seen videos of Mount Apple, there's a lot of rocks, there's a lot of mud, and it's better to be safe. So long pants and long shirt is yeah. ideal. Okay. And what I would also wear um, on the trek up is a balaclava. I'm gonna bring two for two reasons. It protects you if it's too cold and if it's too hot. Yeah, so, so we saw videos at Mount Apple that there were areas where there, were, where there was a lot of sulfur. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really good also to have some sort of protection yeah. in your face. So either a balaclava or a, an N95 a mask. mask. <laughs> yeah. This one, a lot of people make the mistake that when they're hiking, it's cloudy. They think that, oh, it's fine. You know, I don't need to put sunscreen. I don't need any cover. But then you realize that you're, you get burnt because yeah. the air is thinner, you get, it's close to the sun, so you're gonna get burnt faster. That's the outfit. What for about the hike shoes? Going up? What would be an ideal hiking shoes, especially for Mount Apple? <laughs> so I got the shoes. So these are um, Columbia boots, they're made specifically for hiking. And what's important about these boots is it protects your ankles. Again, you're gonna be hiking like six to eight hours straight, depending yeah. on how slow or fast you are. One of the parts of your body that gets really weak is your ankles and you could easily like yeah. twist your ankle. And that's why it's important to find boots or yeah. shoes that cover the ankle. And importantly as well, um, when you're looking for shoes or if you're not sure what shoes to get, Always look at the bottom of the shoe because some are made for, like some boots are too flat and you're going to be sliding if it's muddy. Um, so make sure they're really made for like outdoor and have good grip. And light, light is good light. so it doesn't have to, you don't have to like feel fatigued after so long why, hikes. why are there like insulations like this one, right? Okay, <laughs> this is insulation, <laughs> insulation, but this is made for negative 15 degrees. So my feet might actually be sweating in Mount Apple, <laughs> but I would rather, uh, well, you'll I, have, uh, you'll have thin socks then. I'll have, I'll possibly wear thin socks. Um, I only have two shoes, so I have the um, low cut yeah. trail running so uh, shoes that you could see in my previous vlogs. Um, that those don't protect my ankles, so this is all I have. Um, I don't have that much of a variety of shoes, so this will do for this hike. And it's cold, so again, hiking shoes. If you don't have one yet, make sure there's enough toe space because your foot actually slides back and forth. Yeah. Okay, so um, other accessories that you may need, again, this may be more for the day two of the hike, is um, a beanie to keep your ears and your head warm because I know a lot of us, they get we get cold fast. Um, I know Natasha's one of them. And so, gloves. <laughs> a beanie is important. Again, mine has, I got some Columbia, it has some um, the Ooh. reflective technology to keep wow. the head warm. <laughs> might be too warm for this hike again. I may not wear it, it might just be in my bag, but it's good to be prepared. This one is like proper winter hat. <laughs> it is a winter hat. <laughs> is that so it? that's just the clothing that you have to bring with you uh, to wear and the extras you put in your bag. We will now move on to the snacks and the trail food my favorite. <laughs> that we need to bring um, while on the trek. So Nat and I actually went to the supermarket earlier this morning. We picked up some 
nice snacks. So trail snacks, why right? you call it trail, trail snacks? Because it's literally snacks that you can eat while on the trail. I try to do a mix of sweet, savory, and salty. Salty. <laughs> yeah. um, prepared for trail snacks is um, um, protein, protein bars. bars. It's very important. Some Banana. sweet candies. Gummy yeah, bears. Gummy bears, because <laughs> you need the sugar. Uh, if you're feeling really fatigued and you just need that quick sugar pickup, um, gummy bears are really good for that. Mm -hmm. um, the salt pick me up. Again, salt is very important when hiking because you're losing a lot of water, and salt has a tendency to hold water into, in your body. So have a bit of salt. And we just bought a bit of um, creamy. Mm. So you have all the small Yummy. trail snacks and this one can fill you up. <laughs> We're also going to be making sandwiches. So I'm yeah. going to be bringing, um, I'm going to be bringing peanut butter and bread. Um, you have to remember this is like six to eight hours, guys. Aside from the food, um, it is always, of course, important to hydrate. Hydrate! <laughs> yeah, and most bags have two water um, containers anyway. So normally I would bring at least one liter of water for the hike. And the smaller one would be for my juice. Again, one thing I noticed when hiking for long durations is you get like, you, you really need that sugar to keep you going. Um, so either Gatorade, you know, or the orange tank. Or <laughs> yeah, what I normally Just, get is like a powder juice. Uh -huh. um, so it's easily carried and then I put it in my bag and when I want some juice, some sugar, I just mix it in and like shake it and it's good to go. Let's move on to toiletries. What are the essential things that we can bring? bring. Yeah. Okay, um, I would leave the toiletry bag um, in the porter's bag, but things you want to carry with you is the sunscreen and the yeah. mosquito cream. Um, this is super important, guys. Yeah. I mean, you're in a tropical country. So. You're sweating, you're gonna be sweating, so you need to keep re reapplying um, mosquito, mosquito cream and um, sunscreen. Again, even if it's cloudy, do not fall for it because you are still going to get sunburned. Ooh, nice little toiletry bag. Oh, this, is, this is not my toiletry bag, this is my first aid kit. So oh, okay, sorry. This is another necessity um, when hiking. Again, normally your tour guide would have uh, the basics like, um, like for Band wounds, yeah. um, maybe biogesic, but it's always important to bring your own. Um, then the basic stuff, right? Like if you get Bandage, your yeah. ankle twisted, you have this for protection. You have the alcohol if you get a wound. Um, you have, if you get really badly cut, you have the gauze pad. Um, you have your feminine hygiene yeah. items. Very important for us girls. Very important yeah. in case we're hiking with girls and one of them might be like, oh no, it's day yeah. one for me. I didn't know. So <laughs> it's good that we are prepared. Yeah. And last thing that I find important, which is not normally in a first aid kit, but I find is always with me, like vitamins, guys. Vitamins. You're losing so much vitamins while hiking. This is normally an activity you're doing a lot more than a normal hike or a normal day. Um, so vitamins, multivitamins, and this one is like an energy booster um, mm -hmm. gummy with different vitamins and minerals. Tissue paper. Tissue. Because, you know, <laughs> when you finally find the toilet, you can go and run and... The nature's way. <laughs> yeah. Normally, I would bring also my flashlights with me and mm -hmm. also... Because um, we will be hiking during the night, right? Yes. So dark. I would leave this in my bag already and not on the porter's bag just so I don't forget the next morning. So it's going to be together with my raincoat at the top. Um, I have here a headlamp. Wow. Yep. And also a... A... A watch light. Wow. <laughs> So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. As you can see, it's, it's only a few items for my 55 liter bag. Mm. All right, so Porter's bag. Most important thing when you're in the campsite, what do you need? Is uh, it? Camp, tent. Yeah. <laughs> camp. Did it say tent? <laughs> so I have here a yeah. two person tent. It's, um, before we get into the items, you need the bag, right? <laughs> so this is the oh, bag wow. I have okay. um, for the porter. So it's 100 liters. It's going to be too big, but I think it's going to be things for three three of us girls. So you, mm. me, and one of them can put our stuff in here. So wow. Okay. Normally porters have it either 
It is pretty big. On the yeah. back, yeah. Pretty big. It it's, is. A, woo, it's a quarter bag. The thing I'm gonna put in it is the tent. The tent. It's a two person tent. This one's quite lightweight. You've seen in my previous vlogs. Um, it's a Kelty. It's only 1.6 kilograms. Second thing, which, sleeping bags, of course. Nope, this is not a sleeping bag. Oh, it looks like a sleeping Second bag. Second thing um, that Natasha does not have <laughs> is um, a foam. Uh -huh, yes. This is especially if you're going to be sleeping mm -hmm. on um, hard surfaces, yeah. you want to be comfortable. This one is also lightweight, but it's quite chunky. Yeah, this is a woman's fit one. It's 38 millimeters. And it's a three season use. Finally, going to <laughs> what Natasha was so excited to share is the sleeping bag. That's a um, very tiny sleeping bag. This is a tiny sleeping bag. I literally bought this for Mount Apo. There's temperature me measurements for sleeping bags. So this one is from 15 degrees to, to zero degrees. So this mm -hmm. is perfect good for, for cold. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, with a sleeping bag, you need a pillow. A pillow. Important. So there you go. <laughs> pillow. I'm gonna put that in here. Um, you can get this again um, in one, any hiking shop. Yeah. yeah. You can also use the ones for the airplane. Here, over here, we have a one wind tarp, um, which we will show you on our Mount Apple vlog. Yeah. Um, so again, can you explain a little bit what the tarp is for. Why yeah. So one wind. Tarp. The reason why I really like this is because it's super light. Um, I've yeah. seen so many in the market and it's like carrying a freaking billboard <laughs> with you, right? <laughs> so the one win one, is just, it's going to be our first time to use it. So I'm it super excited. Light. It's yeah. very light and it's quite big. So it's like a sleeping bag. Oh, I can't, can't wait to like, <laughs> hook it up. Um, if you look at my previous vlog in um, Laguna, which I'm going to link up above here, you can see we have a tarp with our beautiful setup and where we're cooking and everything. Mm -hmm. um, it's good when we're resting. We're resting, right? yeah. It's uh, it's good just to um, yeah. make sure you're protected from any chances of rain. What's next? The uh, camp essentials, right? Yeah, so now we've covered all the essentials to keep you cozy and warm in the campsite. For Mount Apple, um, the tour guide would normally come with a package already which covers food. So you don't need to bring your own food and cooking materials like what we did in the previous camps. Yeah. You can just bring the essentials, which is Ooh. your plate. Cups. Tupperware. These tupperwares are fine. You don't need anything fancy. And because you're going to have maybe soup for breakfast, it's important mm. your plate is not flat. And of course, cutleries. For yeah. it. Cutleries, slight cutleries. Yeah. Um, and a cup and that's it that's because it. the tour guide is going to prepare your food i read somewhere that wet wipes is not allowed in mount apple really? i am not sure really? um, wow. but nonetheless if you do bring wet wipes or things that are disposable um you prepare food for your friends and you bring plastic plates it's always important to bring a bunch of plastic bags guys because Trash leave bag. no trays yes leave no trays and you want to separate your clean clothes from your dirty clothes. The clothes you've worn for the hike up, you can leave it in your porter's bag so your bag is lighter and you can switch around the bags. Um, That's a good tip because usually we just like you always forget <laughs> mix, and mix, mix it. all the bad, your, it's your wet. dirty laundry. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it takes me to the clothes that you are going to leave in your porter bag, which you don't need to carry with you, is the clothes you're going to use to sleep. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would um, wear clothes that I'm al already going to wear for the hike for up. The summit. You got it. Yes, because it's cold. When you're waking up yeah. 2 a.m. at the top of the mountain, it's probably like 10 or 8 degrees. You don't want to change, right? This is just to avoid redundancy. So thermals are very important because thermals are also quick dry. They're a good undergarment um, if you want to wear your jacket on top. So my thermals have the same reflective Thermal technology. Reflective. Mm -hmm. A nice warm sweater. For sleeping, something cotton and warm and cozy. Don't forget your underwear. underwear. Guys. <laughs> and to some people, they don't mind reusing their pants. So again, it's just two days, especially yeah, if it's used yeah. as an outer layer. Mm -hmm. You can easily hang it and yeah. then wear it on top of your thermal. So yeah. 
Um, one thing I didn't prepare in this setup is slippers. You will need to bring slippers for the campsite so your feet can rest. You can hang your boots if it's wet or you know. Yeah. It's always good yeah. to have slippers for the campsite. And guys, thick socks. It's going to be only 18 degrees but to, I know to a lot of um, people who are not used to the, the cold, cold temperatures, yeah. Yeah. they find that really cold already. Yeah. So just wear your thick wool socks and it's going to be a comfortable, cozy campsite before your hike cozy. to the summit. I'm really excited! Yeah. <laughs> Other things that we don't have right now are things like our um, hiking stick, which we'll be getting there in the... Yeah, you can rent it there if you don't have your own. Sunglasses is also um, something you need to bring, put in your yeah. bag, because it's it can be very bright when you're hiking during daytime. A hat! To protect A hat. hat, of course. Yep. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much <laughs> it. Um, what we're gonna do is we will make also a blog on all these items. Mm -hmm. Um, we're gonna list it properly so you guys can make an easy checklist on your next hike. Yeah. And yeah, do leave us some feedback if there are other things that you normally bring when camping. Anything to add? Have fun! <laughs> yes, have fun! And make sure you train that bag yeah. and carry your bag. <laughs> yeah, that will be for another video maybe. Yeah. Have to train for Mount Apple. <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching another video from the Traveling Foxes. Yay. We hope you've learned a thing or two. Yeah. And we are always yeah. welcome to suggestions, right? Exactly. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And click that notification bell button so you can get updated on our next travel video. Which will most probably be in... Apple! <laughs> Thank you guys! All right, thanks! Bye! Now time for actual packing for Mount Apple! So this is my hike too, like when we... Uh, like when it's separate.